Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, I wanted to figure out how I can export iCloud keychain passwords into uh, Bitwarden. Let's uh, get into that right now. Uh, essentially, I have a little script here. Uh, I didn't write this myself, I did find this online, but I did verify there's nothing fishy or funky going on inside of it. And then there's a template that we can use to take that data and put it into uh, Bitwarden. So let's start by uh, taking a look at this script here and see what it does. What you'll have to do is open up uh, Keychain Access. Uh, then you'll have to, uh, basically what it does is it tells system events to hold down keystrokes like Command C, Command V to copy and paste and that kind of stuff and it pastes it into a uh, text edit document. So before we can actually get this script working we have to give uh, the script editor permission inside of uh, system preferences, uh, especially if you're on Big Sur or Catalina, uh, they have requirements that won't just to let you do that off the bat. You have to uh, add that stuff into permissions in order to make it work. So uh, go ahead and open up your system preferences. You wanna go to security and privacy. Okay, and then from security and privacy, we'll go to accessibility. You wanna make sure that the script editor is in here. Uh, let's go ahead put in your uh, login password your max password here uh, let's go ahead and add the script editor uh, it's probably going to be under utilities here in the applications folder and script editor there it is all right we'll hit open perfect and then we'll add it in one more place here we're going to give it full disk access uh, so uh, go ahead and check that off uh, to quit and reopen. Uh, if it's not already on that list, just hit the plus there. Uh, go into your applications folder. Mine is on the side here. Uh, and then scroll down to utilities and you'll find it in there under under S uh, for script editor. And I can just double click on this script here. In this script, you have to enter your uh, computer's administrator password. So the same one, uh, basically it's going to be prompting you throughout this process on different windows for your password and the uh, script is manually going to key it in. Okay, so you can go ahead and it's right down here where it says switch to keychain, tell application system events, uh, show password, and then it'll say type your password. Okay, so you want to enter your password on here, just update that to yours in between the uh, two quotation marks. And let's open up text edit. Um, I'm gonna create a new document. You also have text edit inside of your uh, applications folder. So if, if you're having trouble finding that, yeah, just click on your desktop, go into the finder, click on uh, applications, and then text edit will be alphabetically sorted uh, somewhere on this list. There it is. I'm also going to put on do not disturb mode for until this evening, don't bother me. Okay, that looks good. And then let's open up keychain access. I, uh, easiest way to get there is just uh, click on the spotlight there and type in keychain. Uh, you can see here, I have it to repeat 50 times. Uh, you can change this to however many you want. Now, the downside is if you have it repeat too many times, it can actually glitch up a little bit and act a little funny. So what we're gonna do uh, is uh, keep it at 50. Uh, you, if you're having trouble at 50, you can bring it down to 25. And essentially all that means is after the run of, of the first 50, uh, you have to run the script again because this will only uh, kind of reproduce itself 50 times. All right, so, <clears throat> okay, so tell keychain access. I have uh, my first um, password selected inside of my iCloud. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, so far so good, 50 times. And then we'll do the next 50 and next 50. Depending on how many passwords you have, you might have to do it a handful of times. Um, so I'm gonna speed this up. All right, so it looks like it successfully completed the batch of uh, 50. Uh, I made a note of which password it stopped at so I can tell it's here at cvs.com what I'm gonna do is go to the end of that line there okay I'm gonna press return just so that I have a new line and then uh, go down to iCloud keychain and make sure that I'm on the next password that I want after uh, CVS here all right so I'm, um, I have that one selected here and I'm gonna go back to the script here and let's hit run again All 
All right, guys. And as you get down to the last uh, password in your keychain, uh, it's and you still have uh, you know the script running, you'll notice that it's just copying the same password over and over again. What you want to do at that point is just click the uh, stop there. Kind of, you're gonna have to smash it a couple times to get it to understand. Um, because while it's running, it get, it's hard to interrupt it. I mean, it's definitely not the smoothest um, operation, but once it gets going, it, it, it works. That's, that's the point here. Um, so I finally, finally have finished. Uh, I think I've copied over 200, maybe 250 passwords. What we're going to do next is now that we have all of this in a file, we're going to save it as a .csv. All right, so let's go up to file, save, and just add the .csv extension at the end. All right, and uh, this is going to be uh, keychain .csv. All right, and let's save that to uh, our desktop. Save. Perfect. All right, we'll close that out. And we no longer need our password keychain window here. Alrighty, so now that we have our uh, CSV file created, let's take a look at this uh, template and uh, take a look at what it looks like. Uh, let's open it with Excel. Uh, if you don't have Excel, you can use uh, either Apple's uh, numbers or if you're on a PC or Linux, you can use uh, Google's Sheets. Uh, they essentially uh, work the same way for this purpose. There's nothing too special going on there. Um, after we have this open, let's see what they have here. So there's a folder here. Uh, which folder do you want uh, your basically imports to go to? Uh, favorite here. Uh, I'm not sure what that does, but we can leave that blank. Uh, the type, it's a login. Uh, the name, uh, you can add extra notes if you like to, uh, which we're not going to do. Uh, there's a pin. Uh, there's a login URL, uh, username, and uh, password. Okay, so now let's see if we can open up this file here, which is our keychain uh, CSV file, which we created. Uh, we're gonna put those two side by side here. I'm gonna right click, open with Excel. Okay, so from here, uh, basically we have three fields. We have email address, login URL, which is gonna go here, okay. Then we have the field that is for the login username, which is here. And then we have our password field, which is here. All right, so let's go ahead and take the login URLs here. We're gonna select all of them. Okay, I'm gonna hit uh, copy, and we're gonna paste them in here. Uh, we can delete the other ones that are already here. Let's paste them in, Command V. All right, there we go, we got those in there. And next, uh, we're going to just erase any of this extra data here because we don't we don't need this. All right. Uh, so these are all logins. What I'm going to do is drag this all the way down to copy it. A lot of passwords here. Okay, there we go. Scroll up. Okay. Uh, we have our login username. We're going to delete that. Login password, we're going to delete that. Uh, login to, uh, TOTP, we don't need any of that. All right, and now we are going to, uh, for our folders here, I don't have any folders, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Uh, and I'm going to leave the favorites blank. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and get the login username. Scroll all the way down, let's copy this and then paste that in here. Okay, and then next we're gonna have our password field, which is here. Let's go all the way down, and we're gonna copy that. Okay, password, and we're gonna paste that in there. What I'm gonna do is just copy the login URL over to the name field. That's not the ideal way to do it, but at this point, I've been working on this for so long that I just want my passwords in there and I really don't care what the, what it's gonna look like. Uh, I just want, want it to pull up the logins when it's time. All right, so we have that saved. Uh, let's go ahead and what I'm gonna do now is hit File, Save As, uh, Bitward and Export. I'm gonna put a two at the end there and I'm gonna hit Save. Okay, that's good. Let's see, make sure it's on the desktop there, there it is. Let's close uh, both of these out for now. 
I'm gonna hit don't save on that. Okay, bitwarden.com, login. Okay. And that's login. Here we are. I think we're gonna go to tools. Oh, yep, that's where we're going, tools. We're gonna go to import. Select the import file. It's going to be a Bitwarden, oops, Bitwarden CSV. Okay, we're gonna choose a file. It's gonna be on our desktop. Choose for upload. And let's say import data. All right, data was successfully imported into your vault. So that's pretty much the process, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And we hope to see you next time.